All right, now Samsung's One UI 7.0 comes with some incredible feature. Most of the major features I have already discussed in one of my previous videos. And those major features are discussed by everyone on YouTube and uh, many other places on the internet. But there are some brilliant hidden features or some new features on Samsung Galaxy phones One UI 7, which you might not have noticed yet. And not many people are talking about those as well. So in this video, I thought I will showcase those features for you guys. Keep watching the video. This is going to be very interesting. And if you haven't been a part of Apex, community yet go ahead subscribe you get to learn a lot about your phones and your galaxy watches and a lot more related to technology so go ahead and subscribe and become a part of this growing community and yeah do not forget to hit that like button if you find this video informative i would really appreciate that now let's go ahead the first feature i would like to talk about is the quick share now samsung allows the sharing of files over the internet just in case if the receiver or the sender is a bit far away while sending the files let me go to the settings here and uh, search for quick share we have quick share settings here. Now here we have got a brand new option called allow sharing over internet. What this does is if a direct connection to the other device is unavailable or unstable, this allows the sharing over the internet using Wi-Fi or mobile data instead. Let's say if you're sending some large file, multiple GB file to somebody uh, by connecting your phone through QuickShare. And if that connection is not stable or if the uh, receiver is a little far away from you, QuickShare will start sending that file over the Wi-Fi if the phone is connected on the same network. And they also mentioned mobile data. I'm not very sure how does this uh, work. Maybe the hotspot needs to be connected. Usually the QuickShare works on Wi-Fi direct it is it is more of direct sharing to another device it creates a peer-to-peer -peer network between the devices but if that network is unstable we can send the files over wi-fi or mobile data the phone will automatically do that that's a brand new feature next we have got a brand new search feature on the settings let me open settings here and i will tap on search here you can see we've got recent searches available right here on top and then we have got topics here we can select a specific topics to search for the settings. Let's say now I want to search something about the S Pen. I can just tap on S Pen here. All those settings related to S Pen will show up right here. I want to search something about Galaxy AI. The Galaxy AI options will come right here. I can tap on Galaxy AI here to search for the options on Galaxy AI menu. And then let's say I want to search something about notifications. All the notification settings will uh, come up right here. We can further get into the settings by tapping on them. Uh, that is how we access the uh, settings now. Now we'll be able to easily search something with the topics option on the search panel on the settings. Of course, we can tap on search button and dictate or we can type the keywords here to search a specific settings. But having this uh, topics is quite handy which is a welcome change here. And if you don't want to see these recent searches, you can always go to the search settings here and disable this recent searches. You can see that will disappear here. You'll only get the topics. And if you want those recent searches, just make sure you enable this toggle here. That's another brand new feature that we have got on One UI 7. Next, we have got AI now available on the selected text. This is very interesting, guys. Let me show you that. Let's say I have uh, got some content here on the internet. The moment I select the text, it gives me this option, as you can see, the AI icon is right here. I can just tap on this AI icon to compose, summarize, edit, change the tone and more. I will tap on OK. Now this is the brand new menu that we get. We can check the spelling and grammar, writing styles, summarize, and then we have got bullet point here and composer here. Let's say I select bullet points here. The AI will figure out a new format for the content that I selected and it will show me these bullet points, the content in bullet points here, which is fantastic. This is the original content here. And when you swipe towards the right, you will see the uh, bullet points here. Then from here, you can copy it and then paste it wherever you want. Let's say we are uh, sending a message. We want to send that uh, content here. I can just paste it right here. You see, this is what we are going to see right here. These are all the bullet points that we just copied. And uh, if you want to further edit it here, select everything here again, we get AI icon right here, tap on this, and we get these options. Let's also do this. Let me select the AI icon here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, here we don't get the bullet point options. You only get spelling and grammar, writing style and composer. If we select the AI icon here on the messaging application right here, you see this icon. But if you select the text uh, and uh, select the AI icon, which appears here on this contextual menu, then you will get the bullet points and composer. This is another hidden feature we have got on the OneDevice 7.0. Next, let me take a screenshot here. 
You see, the moment we take a screenshot, we have got this brand new option here. The icon will activate the Smart Select feature. Now we can do that right from the screenshot, uh, the uh, many options from the screenshot and activate the Smart Select. Circle the area that you want to circle and then we get these uh, options, the contextual menus. We can further take actions on this. You can uh, do a sketch to image. Uh, pin it, copy it, share it, download this portion of the screenshot. You can edit the screenshot right here using the Smart Select feature. Earlier, we did not have the Smart Select option here on the screenshot. You see, this is a brand new bar here, a transparent uh, uh, frosted glass bar here. And then we have got share option and tag option. And you can further edit it by tapping on this icon. And we can activate the Smart Select instead of doing this. Let me activate the Smart Select here. Here we go. Just select the portion that you want to select and then execute the actions from this contextual menu. And this brings us to the next change. This is a brand new contextual menu that we have on the Smart Select now. The previous version was a bit different on One UI 6.1. Let me show you that. Let me bring the Galaxy S23 Ultra here. Let me activate the Smart Select here. You see the icon itself is different. This is a brand new icon that we see here on the smart on the One UI 7.0. This is the previous icon that we have. Let me activate this. You see, uh, it's activated now. I'll just select a portion of this area here. I'll select this. As you can see, we have got this frosted glass background here, and we get all these menu options uh, on this frosted glass background. And we have got text, sketch to image, and three dot button here by tapping on which we can create GIF. And here it is edit. Copy, share, download text, and we have got this three dot button here. On that, we get this transla translate on create GIF and add note. Now it's good to see Samsung providing all these options right here. And we have got enough space here. I think Samsung can add sketch to image icon here, text icon here, and everything in one area that can also be done. But yeah, uh, this execution is also pretty good on One UI 7. That's the brand new sketch to image for you guys on One UI 7. Next, Samsung has removed the AR zone now from the camera application. As you can see, when I tap on more, we do not have AR zone. Earlier, we had AR zone from which we could create our uh, emojis, GIF and all that stuff. You know, we could always create the uh, AR emojis right here on AR emoji studio by tapping on this inside the camera application. But now this has been moved and this has been moved into the advanced settings. Let me show you that on One UI 7. Let's go to the settings here and tap on advanced features. Now here at the bottom, we have got Galaxy Avatar. Let me tap on this. Now this brings up the editing options which were available on the AR zone. Now you can see I will tap on edit. Now this is where we can edit it. Now earlier we had uh, AR zone here and uh, we could tap on AR emoji studio to edit the avatar here. They have revamped these options as well. Uh, we can change the looks and style here. But in the previous version, we had all those options like camera. We could uh, create videos here for our call background. And we have got these options, what's new, give your emoji a new look, get uh, some new emojis. All these options were there. But now they've simplified this. You can only create your avatar on the uh, One UI 7 using this avatar option. And if you want to access these additional options, you have to come back here. We've got avatar stickers. This is a separate menu now. We have got avatar camera. You can use the camera right here. And then we have got a design new clothes option. And we have got profile, create an avatar video, watch face. All this can be created here. This was all integrated into AR zone on the One UI 6 or 6.1. That's another big change we have got here. And this is also hidden inside your settings menu. So uh, you can go ahead and check this out. Next, we have got a very important security feature now available on One UI 7. Let me go to the settings here, tap on security and privacy. Now here you can see security status of your devices. Now here, this is a brand new feature. You see it says Knox metrics monitors supported devices signed into your Samsung account using a secure private blockchain. Each device in the chain can check the security status of other devices and let you know if there are any threats. So these devices will be interconnected. It has to be supported by this particular feature. I think uh, the other devices should also be on One UI 7 to support this. And maybe that is the reason all those devices which are uh, logged into the same account are not showing up right here because they are not on One UI 7. But if they are supported, then those devices will also show up here. And this green check mark will appear for the device which is completely secured without any issues. Uh, right now it is only showing my device here. Samsung is doing this using a secure private blockchain which is very, very important 
to keep all our connected devices secure and safe thanks to Samsung for doing this. Now this is another hidden feature that we have got, uh, the brand new feature that we have got on One UI 7.0. Next, Samsung has added some brand new widgets for uh, the lock screen. Now let me just press and hold on the lock screen here to enter the customization menu. Now earlier we had very few options for these widgets here when I tap on this. Uh, we could only see a very few options but now we have got some additional applications here. For example, we have got uh, camera here. I can set up a custom camera. Let me just remove this. I'll tap on custom camera here and let me tap on done. Now when I tap on this custom camera, I will get to choose the title on the widget and I can also choose the starting mode. Now we have seen this on the home screen widget but this is now available on your lock screen as well. Let me select the starting mode here, maybe rear camera and uh, video mode. Now I'll go back, tap on save. Now what happens is, you see I can directly tap on this and unlock the phone to instantly open the video mode on the camera application. This is a pretty cool feature now we have got. Likewise, we have got some additional widgets here. Let me open that. Uh, let's see what else we have got. We have got a device care widget here. We can directly tap on the device care icon on the lock screen itself to clear the memory. Then we have got digital well-being and uh, we have got expert raw option now which is pretty cool. Again here you can see we can customize the modes for expert raw shortcut on the lock screen. Then we do have gallery icon here. This is pretty cool. Let me add this. Let me remove this and add the images here. Let's see what happens. I will just tap on done. This is my lock screen. I will tap on this and get into this and select an album here. Let me select this album. I'll tap on done. Now when I lock the screen and uh, uh, look at the widget here, you can see all those images from the album will start coming up on this particular widget. Pretty cool isn't it? We have got a small window here which shows the images from our gallery. So some very cool changes Samsung has made on the lock screen widgets. I think you guys should explore this. It's pretty nice. Next, let's go to the search bar here. I'll tap on the search bar and tap on three dot button here and tap on settings. And I'll do the same on the One UI 6.1.1. .1 tap on the three dot, tap on settings. Now you can see we had about uh, seven options here and now we have got a couple of additional options on One UI 7 and one of them is very, very interesting that is search text in documents. So what this enables us to do is if we are searching for something, some text content from a specific document, the document will also show up on the search result now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say I'm searching something here. I'll search for cost and I will just scroll down here you see, search text in documents. Uh, this is showing me the documents which has got this word cost. It says such monitoring at no cost to it. Uh, all that is shown here. And that cost word is picked up from the document. And if you want to specifically search some content from a specific document, you can just key in that word here. You will get that document right here, which is a hidden feature. This is just incredible. Kudos to Samsung for adding this option, search text in documents. And we also have one more additional settings here. That is the uh, setting topics. You can uh, disable it if you don't want. Show setting topic is another option which has been added. Now this is a brilliant hidden feature available on the One UI 7. Next, Samsung has also made some changes to how the uh, folder would appear when you open the folder. Let's say I open this folder here. You see this is a new option. This was actually available on the good lock module. On home up we could enable this. Earlier on One UI 6.1 without the good lock the folder used to just pop up in that area wherever you tap on it but now it is right here at the center. This is a big change which we have and I have not discussed about this in my previous video. Next, let me open Samsung Samsung gallery here and tap on the three dot button here and tap on create. Now let's tap on collage here. I will be able to select a few images here and uh, create a collage. Let me select these images and I will tap on collage. Now we have got a brand new option here. This is the option using which we can customize these images how it appears on a collage. Earlier this was not possible. Now we can just tap on the image, expand it, place it wherever you want select the other image, rotate it and uh, place it here. Uh, however you want, you can customize this now. And this option is a brand new option that we have got on the collages, collage creation inside Samsung Gallery application. Next, Samsung has added a brand new feature on the Samsung Health application that is called Mindfulness on Health. Let me open the uh, Health application again and again. I'm going to the search bar here. <laughs> this is the new search bar at the bottom. Let me tap on this. I will open the Health application. Now let me scroll down here. As you can see, we have got a brand new option here called Mindfulness. Let me tap on Mood Check-in. It says add more mindfulness to your day. 
practice habits that can help you reduce stress, get better sleep and boost your emotional health. Let me tap on next. What do you want to focus on? It says, uh, we'll personalize contents based on what you choose. Reduced anxiety, reducing stress, relaxing, being positive, overall well-being, getting better sleep. Now let me select being positive here and tap on next. Now here it says before we continue, take a moment to clear your mind, touch and hold to pause for a moment of mindfulness. Let me press and hold on this to pause this. Let's see what happens. Great. Now tell us how you feel. Awesome, good, so, so, bad, terrible. All these options are there. Let me select good. Tap on next. You locked your first mood. Feeling good. Keep monitoring your mood to track the factors that affect how you feel. This is something new which Samsung has added. You can uh, choose the mood here. Uh, let me just go back here. Uh, we've got breathing exercises, meditation. All these options are now available under mindfulness. So that's a brand new feature. Next, we have got one more brand new feature on Samsung health application that is called health records. We can now add health records from providers or upload them yourself. Just tap on this and continue to add your health records on Samsung Galaxy phones. I will discuss this in detail in the upcoming video. The last feature I would like to talk about is the power saving options. Let me go to the settings here. I will tap on battery. Now let me tap on power saving. Now here we can customize the power saving options. We've got some additional toggles here. These were not available by default when you turn on the power saving mode. It used to uh, limit the CPU to 70%. Turn off always on display by default. Uh, it will set the motion smoothness to standard by default. Decrease brightness by 10%. So these options were uh, enabled by default under power saving mode whenever you set it. But now, even if you have turned on the power saving mode, you can further tweak it or customize it. If you don't want the motion smoothness to go down to standard, you can disable it. If you want the always on display to be available on your power saving mode, you can still keep that by enabling these toggles. So these are some additional toggles that we now have on power saving mode on One UI 7.0. These are some brilliant new features. Some of them are hidden. Some of them are visible on the One UI 7. Let me know what do you think about these features. Drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you think that this video was useful to you, go ahead, hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.